what are the benefits of object-based panning over panning in the bed? Um, so when it comes to Dolby Atmos, um, you've got two ways of you've got two ways of working. You can work with the bed, or you can work with objects. Objects are more for your movements. Anything that's moving around the room, use objects. Um, generally speaking. Um, the main reason that you use an object over a um, a bed, for instance, is objects scale up. So if you were to use a bed, you are using left, right, centre, um, side, left, side, right, and back, left, and right. Okay, And then you're using, uh, in a 7.1.2, you're using then a sub, and two speakers on the ceiling, left and right. Now, if you were using a bed, they are the um, speakers that audio would come out of. So, if you're using a bed, you're going to come out of those speakers. But the problem you've got there is if you then took... So, say you just mixed through a bed and you didn't touch any objects. Audio would come out of the bed speakers, which are the speakers that I just listed. The problem you have there is then, if you bring that session over to me, um, I've got an additional left and right, far left, far right. I've then got a front left on the ceiling and a back left on the ceiling and a front right on the ceiling and a back right on the ceiling. The problem you would have is audio wouldn't play out of my far left and my far right. So you'd get no in between that speaker and that speaker. So you wouldn't get any in between that. So you wouldn't get that speaker there, right? If you were to just use the bed. The thing with the objects, now the objects will play out the speakers that are going to the bed. So it will hit these left, right, uh, far left, far right, but it will play out of every speaker in between. So say let's for, say for instance that we've got our left speaker there and we've got our side left there, for instance, right? And then we went into a bigger studio, we went into a cinema, for instance, and in between that speaker and that speaker, we had five more speakers. If you were coming out of the bed, your bed, your bed sounds would not play out of those five speakers in between. It would just play out of that one and that one. If you use a bed and you moved a sound around like that, or you just positioned a sound in the middle, sound would come out of the speakers, right? So what's basically happened with objects, is you can upscale, you can basically go, you'll fill in the gaps, right? Um, so sound will come out of the speakers that are in between uh, these two speakers, and that goes to the ceiling as well. So in a 7.1.2 setup, um, speakers on the ceiling are either left or right, they're not front and back on the ceiling um, because you've only got two speakers on the, on the ceiling. So then if you take it into a studio that's got six speakers on the ceiling, six on the left, six on the right, front left, middle left, back left, your sound would only play out of the, I believe, probably the middle left. So you wouldn't get any depth of front and back. You would just get it's on the ceiling. Whereas if you used an object and you put it on the ceiling, but put it slightly to the front. Even though you may not hear it in your 7.1.2 setup, you would then have that slight movement to the front. So sound would be, it would be more accurate to the room, uh, to a larger room. Um, so it basically, it means, it, an object means that you can fill in the gaps and upscale to a cinema. If you were to play a 7.1.2 um, mix into a cinema that had, let's say, 25 speakers around around it, right? Um, you would only play out of seven speakers. Whereas if you used objects uh, as opposed to uh, the bed, you would then play out of all 25 speakers. And that's why you use objects over beds in um, the majority of situations, not just when things are panning, but also when, um, just generally when you're putting stuff over there, over there, you can put it 
into an object, move it around the room. Um, and generally speaking, I, I like to use objects a lot more over beds. So anything that's up the front, I might use the beds, but anything that goes round behind me, left and right, I'll use the objects. Um, there is a placebo that objects sound better than the bed. Um, I don't, I don't think that is technically true, but a lot of people say that objects sound better than the bed. I, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm 99% sure that they sound exactly the same. There's that 1% that, that is the placebo kind of uh, making me think that maybe objects sound a little bit better. But yeah, that's basically why you use objects over beds in Dolby Atmos.